It often takes a very serious situation to be reminded about the importance of farm safety. September, of course, is Farm Safety Month, and we're taking a few minutes to think about how we can all play a role in keeping our employees, friends, and families safe on the farm and ranch every day. Joining me in the studio today is Mike Deering of the National Cattlemen's Beef Association. Thanks for coming to the show. Absolutely, Kevin. Glad to be here. Yeah. Well, first of all, tell us a little bit, why is it so important that we focus on this issue of farm safety? Well, farmers and ranchers should always focus on farm safety. The way I look at Farm Safety Month is uh, kind of a billboard for the issue and a wake-up call. This is a time to make a farm safety plan on your farm and on your ranch and share that with your family share that with uh, workers on the ranch and those kind of things. Go through, do a walkthrough on your operations. Mm -hmm. uh, evaluate potential hazards. And uh, if there's anything that's a blatant malfunction that needs to be fixed, that you refuse to fix to save a buck or two, and duct tape and uh, bailing wire won't do to really fix it. <laughs> You've they, been to my place. <laughs> <laughs> believe me, I speak from experience on my Missouri farm on that. But yeah. it's just important to make it a priority and, and have caution signs on your farm and ranch, not only for your guest, but as a reminder to yourself at times, too, um, just to minimize the risk, uh, to avoid some costly consequences. And when I talk costly consequences, I'm not just talking about injury and death, mm -hmm. which if that isn't enough, I'm talking money. Insurance premiums are skyrocketing, sure. and you can save 10 to 15 percent. Um, on your workers' compensation premiums just by making it a priority. And, and you can get free consultation by doing that by uh, just going to the Department of Labor's website. They'll show oh, you how sure. to make a plan, and uh, you can save some money. Well, we talk about employees and, and folks like that, but what about kids? There's will always have kids at home, and I know you're a huge believer in educating young people as well. It is so important. I'm a member of uh, Farm Safety for Just Kids, a very important organization. It's important for a lot of different reasons. In rural America, it should be top priority uh, to have a seminar of some kind for kids. Um, everybody involved in this business ha has uh, known somebody who's been injured or killed. My, uh, I know a rancher in Missouri that uh, was driving over Hay and his cows driving over a pond dam, wasn't aware of the dangers, and that tractor tipped over and it killed him. And it, it took another farmer and rancher out of commission. And not only did it crush him, it crushed me because that guy was my dad. Mm -hmm. And so I've taken that issue very seriously. And why are kids important? Because kids are a wake up call. Kids are so innocent, they remind us to think about the little things. So many times, kid comes home and says, don't forget to wash your hands after using the restroom, or don't forget to put your seatbelt on, Dad, a reminder. And so it's very important not only for those kids to remain safe on farms by, through these educational programs, but to also educate their own parents as well. well. You know firsthand then, obviously, the statistics that recently showed, once again, that uh, from Bureau of Labor Statistics, that farming and ranching is, in fact, one of the most dangerous occupations. Why do you think that is? Well, farmers and ranchers are undoubtedly very good at what they do, providing food and fiber for a glowing, growing global population. Um, and they do so day after day, sometimes very similar tasks year after year. And with years of practice, I think some awareness gets depleted hmm. and being caught in a routine is synonymous for being caught off guard. Hmm. And then that opens the door wide open for deadly consequences and uh, for some very serious uh, uh, injuries and those kind of things. And the most recent data came out August 19th, and it was better news, but still bad news. Uh, farming and ranching went from the uh, third most dangerous profession in 2008 to the fourth most dangerous in 2009. We have 38.5 uh, deaths per 100,000. Mm. So there was 293 deaths mm. in 2009. And, and I want people just to make this a priority so that they're not up here talking on a, a first-hand experience. Yeah, absolutely. Once you've seen your dad uh, and mentor killed on these guys, changes your perspective. Well, thank you so much for sharing oh. that powerful testimony. Absolutely. For more information on Farm Safety Month, visit cattleman 2